When I was elected to the uh, Grant Thornton board a little over six years ago, if you had asked me, what are the key risks that you see for you know, our company, our industry, I probably would have said uh, regulatory risk. You know, we're a heavily regulated industry. And then for our firm, Grant Thornton, as we were growing, could we attract and retain the type of talent that we wanted to be able to attain, obtain to grow and, and serve our clients? But if you ask me today, what is the um, most significant issue facing you know, our industry, it's absolutely overwhelming that it's disruption. And the, the very core of our business is being changed based on developments in technology, robotics, artificial intelligence. So as we look at our business, clearly the number one driver of opportunity and risk for us are changes in technology. It's changing the type of students that we need. So not all accounting majors today, we hire data scientists. Well now, as we're moving to more of computer work, and artificial intelligence, we're even having to change the way we price our services. You know, historically, our competitors were well known. You know, they, they were other public accounting firms. Three to five years from now, maybe technology companies. Data science uh, is, is really misunderstood. Data science is really all about finding meaning out of unimaginable amounts of information. That's really all it is. You're looking through these truly unimaginable uh, uh, piles of data. What is it that you want to try to understand for your organization to predict, to influence? Uh, it starts with getting an understanding of the data. What's going to happen? What do our customers want? What are they going to think? What will these supply chains look like? What is it that we're trying to predict? We use data in that way to understand, to predict, and to influence our markets and those behaviors. AI really is just a big blanket term. My favorite definition for AI is getting computers to do the kind of stuff they do on TV and in the movies. And that's actually pretty accurate. AI is about taking computers to the next logical step. It's about giving computers not instructions, but goals. Telling it not how to do something, but what you want done. And having the system help figure that out. What you should worry about is how are you going to use these capabilities to improve productivity, profitability, quality, customer service, retaining better people, uh, impacting your uh, LTV, your CAC, your customer acquisition costs. How are you going to use these things to be able to augment your workforce, to be able to be more effective as a company? How do you change the nature of AI to think of it less as artificial intelligence and more as IA, intelligence augmentation. How can you use these capabilities to enhance and improve what you're already doing? The, the greatest features I've seen have done just that. They've gotten away from AI, for being AI itself, to enhancing and augmenting people. Whether that's reading x-rays or understanding what customers truly want or Siri or Alexa being able to be responsive to your questions. If you're not pursuing AI, rest assured your competitors are.